Hey everyone, it's Mike. Welcome back to my channel, Mike's 84 Corvette, the only channel on YouTube devoted to my 84 Corvette. And today we're going to look at uh, one feature of the C4 Corvettes that unfortunately or fortunately did not make it out of the 80s right after this. <music> So guys, from 84 to 88, Corvettes were available with the Doug Nash um, 4 plus 3 overdrive transmission, which was basically a 4-speed transmission with an overdrive on 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. So you really had 7 speeds. Um, it really, uh, uh, I mean, I like it. I have fun with it. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, a lot of people have troubles with it. Uh, mine, knock on wood, as usual, is working pretty good. Um, but what I thought maybe was uh, we'd go for a ride and I can hopefully show you how it works. So uh, let's start up and take it for a little spin. cold here in northern New Jersey today. It's probably low 30s. Uh, so if you hear some weird sounds or creaks or cracks or rattles, that's just typical Corvette problems, especially in the cold weather. Um, so what I'm going to do is take it out to the local roads, then get out on the highway and uh, where uh, I can really show you how this works. So I'm about to head out onto one of the local uh, roads here, not the highway, but typically around town, I'll, I won't put it into overdrive. The car is just punchier that way. You know, you got good pickup with the standard four speed. Um, once I get out on the highway, you know, and you're in fourth gear, I usually put it in overdrive. It almost acts like a fifth gear overdrive and uh, drops the revs, drops the sound down. So let's head out.
first gear, still have the overdrive pressed down. Will not kick on in first gear. around town I will leave the overdrive off so that's what I'm gonna do right now let's turn this baby off it's really mostly for at least in my opinion using out on the highway I mean I won't even use it uh, I won't use it in second third gear at all no reason to it's just when you get out on the highway and you want a little more relaxed cruising around town. Leave it off. So guys, back in the garage here. I hope you had a nice ride with me today. I hope you uh, got a little insight into how the uh, 4 plus 3 manual transmission works. I mean, if you want to really get into the mechanical bits, I know there's other videos on YouTube that really show you how it works. I just wanted to give you an overview. Um, a lot of people, you know, don't like it. You know, I'm sure six p a six speed would be, you know, better. Um, I'm really just happy that this is a manual transmission car. I like driving manual transmissions. I had them for years, uh, years ago. Um, and like I said, you know, I was, I was excited when I saw this car for sale and I saw that it had a stick shift. I was pretty excited. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So, uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the video, please like it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.